Well, imagine, if you will, a spacecraft powered in part by Earth's own gravity being shot into space to make contact with an asteroid. Well, on Friday, NASA's asteroid sample return spacecraft did just that, successfully using Earth's gravity to slingshot itself on a path toward a rendezvous with an asteroid next August. Now, this morning, we welcome National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas to talk more about that mission. Great to see you, Andrew. First, uh, tell us about the asteroid that's the focus of this mission and why NASA has chosen it for study. Well, this asteroid is, uh, is 500 meters across. It's called Bennu. And it's caught the attention of scientists because uh, it's, uh, it's an, uh, a potential Earth-crossing asteroid, too. It's something uh, that we need to understand better because, of course, asteroids we know, it's not a question of if, but when they do uh, cross paths with Earth. And so uh, this is a chance for NASA to actually go to the asteroid with the OSIRIS-REx mission, uh, get there late next year, and uh, go into orbit around this half a kilometer wide rock in space and analyze it uh, really up close. In fact, landing the spacecraft in a few years time, scooping up a sample and bringing it back uh, in, uh, in 2023, back to Earth Labs, two ounces of material. This will be the most material returned from a, from a celestial object since the Apollo missions went to the moon. So, uh, and this material from the asteroid will be distributed amongst all the laboratories in the world. And the idea is to understand what uh, asteroids are made of, how we can mitigate p any p potential uh, disasters, you know, collisions with asteroids, even in the far future. This will be a very important milestone mission for NASA hmm. and the world in our understanding of asteroids. Well, our understanding of space has been greatly enhanced by the work of Hubble over the years. And we understand, Andrew, the Hubble telescope has uncovered an interesting object. Tell us more about that. Very interesting. In fact, this, is, uh, 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 this has left uh, astronomers scratching their heads. It's, uh, uh, we all know about what asteroids are. They are basically hard, rocky uh, objects in space. We know what comets are. Comets are basically a collection, conglomerate of ice and ice and rock and and they have tails that form as they as they melt when they come close to the sun well nasa using hubble has found an object that has both characteristics of a comet and an asteroid in fact there's two of these objects that are orbiting each other very rapidly that look like comets they're only about a hundred kilometers apart and they're in the asteroid belt and now they're going to have to come up with a new category of objects, believe it or not, that will be member of the solar system. Something that looks like an asteroid and looks like a comet. <laughs> Just so amazing. So it's up, up for grabs. What do we call this new object? Who knows? I, I say we call it Andrew Fazekas. <laughs> National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas, we call on you every Sunday. And uh, thanks so much for this on this Sunday. My pleasure. Clear skies.